Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit more personal. It's something that has been a part of my life for such a long time and I thought I should share it with you guys, you know, kind of open up a little bit and bring you guys into my world. But yeah, if you're new, please remember to subscribe down below and join the family. So yeah, let's just, let's just dive right in and like, you know, no long talk. I had this random thought, I don't know if it was this morning or last night and it basically was like every time something would happen with my family like in terms of like health wise or whatever I realized that I'm the first person that my family would call so they would pick up the phone and call me and then tell me their symptoms like as if I'm their doctor <laughs> it's kind of cute I'm not gonna lie to you but it's something that I realized that, that like happens so often my mom would call and be like oh your brother's feeling this that and the third like I don't know what it is we're not quite sure da, da, da. and if I don't know like I'll do a quick google search and yes I understand that people say don't google these things because google will make you believe like you're dying and you have cancer and boom 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 it's the end of the world no like I'll do research within reason like I'm not just gonna search something and then believe the first thing that I read obviously I would assess like what the symptoms are like what they're feeling and then kind of like find something that is like you know closely in line with what they might potentially be going through basically what i'm trying to say is i was already interested in medicine so like that's another little you know side note i actually loved it so much so that when i was in kenya um i did high school in kenya so for those of you that don't know I got shipped to Africa when I was like 14 and I lived there for about five years. So anyways, when I was coming back here for university, I decided to do uh, like volunteer at a hospital because like having that as like volunteer experience would look good on paper, of course. So it was supposed to be like a two week thing and then I ended up doing it for like six months and I specific specifically worked longer in the maternity ward because I loved it that much. So anyways, what I'm trying to say here is I've always had an interest for like medicine and like all of that stuff life had other plans for me and then i decided to take business that's a whole other story for a different day it's subhanallah like i just i ended up dealing with my own health you know things which kind of like forced me to learn not only about my particular situation but just like a lot more learning how like everything in your body is just connected like your mind your gut just everything and then i think somewhere along the lines i just developed like such a huge interest for it it made me more aware of like what i was going through like if i had stomach issues i knew like sometimes like it'd be triggered from like you know my anxiety or from stressed or like i was just more aware of a lot more because of what I learned along the way. I have autoimmune disease, which is specifically thyroid. And then to be more specific, I have hyperthyroidism. Basically what hyperthyroidism is, is just like you have the thyroid gland, obviously, Everyone has a thyroid gland on their, uh, sitting on their neck, throat, esophagus, whatever. And when it's not functioning properly, it like either releases excessive hormones. In my case, I was releasing too much hormones, which was a hyperthyroidism, which means everything in my body was moving at a rapid rate. So my metabolism was extra high. My heart rate, my resting heart rate, I kid you not, was like over 130, sometimes even worse than that. Um, so like everything in my body was just moving rapid. I'm always anxious, like, like you know what I mean, jittery, like as if I had like 50 cups of like espresso. Like and you can imagine like how crazy it's been. So imagine having that for literally eight, nine years, almost 10 years of your life. It affected every aspect of my life. So there's hyperthyroid and there's hypo. Hypo is the complete opposite of what hyperthyroid is. And I know we're not in school right now. I'm not really trying to sit here and educate you guys about what like hyper and hyperthyroid hypo are but basically hypothyroidism is a complete opposite you know everything's moving slow in your body your thyroid is not releasing as as much hormones as your body needs your metabolism is a lot slower so you're probably gaining weight you're a bit more lethargic more depressed just picture like slow so everything in your body is moving slow and for me everything was just like you know what I mean? I'm getting hot flashes. I was losing weight. I, for so long, I felt really, really alone. Like, I felt really alone. And I know this sounds like, you know, like whatever. But honestly speaking, it really, I feel like, put me in a dark space. I felt really hopeless. Um, every time I go to the doctor's office or wherever I go, or if I read anything about my particular, like, you know, disease, it was always like, once you have it, you're just going to live with it for the rest of your life. There's actually no known cure for it. So... You just got to deal with it. And in order to deal with it, all you're going to be taking are, you know, pharmaceutical 
medications and the medication that I was taking had such a huge side effect on me like I was so adamant at some point I really became fed up with what I kept seeing when it came to hyperthyroidism like it's just like oh if you have hyperthyroidism like that's it like there's really no hope it was just a lot of like negative things that came along with you know whenever I would go to the doctor's office so anyways you can only imagine for 10 years hearing that never getting any positive feedback the way to cure it is literally just to take medic medicine and just you know kind of put a band-aid on it and live with it for the rest of your life and that's about it and i think the other alternative was to like go through surgery or like radiation but like either way like i just thought all those options were very extreme how is it possible that there's no other alternative right so anyways i would always do my research because i had to take matters into my own hands and figure something out because i'm like this is i'm not comfortable with the idea of there's no cure for this and i'm just gonna have to live with this for the rest of my life so ultimately what i'm trying to say is i remember having this conversation with my mom and i'm like hoya like you know mom i'm gonna find inshallah by the will of god i'm gonna find a cure and i'm gonna find some t something like that's going to heal me whether it be like you know i find the right doctor or i find the right medication or whatever it is whatever it is i'm gonna find something and then i'm gonna like record my process my healing process and share that with people because i'm sure there are people who feel alone at the time i thought maybe like you know doing youtube videos and like kind of sharing my journey with people would be a way to like not only connect with people who are going through this very thing but also like reach out to people that that probably feel alone with this because I can't emphasize to you like how badly I needed to hear that when I was going through that I literally felt like the only person that was dealing with this particular thing so anyways what I'm trying to say is it made me feel so alone because even people that I would come across like real life people who actually have thyroid it was always hypo so I could never really relate truly with anyone when it came to this particular thing like i used to pray to just come across at least one person so that way like we can heal together we can talk about this together like we would understand each other i want to say 2019 i decided to take some drastic measures because one you know my thyroid was getting a lot worse it was getting really really bad actually and for a long time i kept ignoring it because i just felt really hopeless like it was just like the same medication that i was always using and that same medication had side effects like i remember my doctor telling me oh yeah you know like the this particular medication that you're using over time it does have like significant side effects which could potentially like shut down your organs slowly by slowly the only medication that i'm supposed to be taking that is supposed to you know help is this particular medication and you're telling me this medication after a prolonged use you're telling me this is gonna basically like kill me this can't possibly be my like you know the answer the end all be all like this is not it like it doesn't make no sense to me and in our religion we're taught that there's a cure for everything Allah has sent down a cure for literally every single thing in this dunya except for death there's obviously no cure for death and we all know that so anyway so I ended up going through radiation um, I had to go through that because my thyroid was really really bad if it wasn't brought down it, it would potentially lead to something really serious so my doctor was like yo we need to do something about this asap it was like literally urgent so i went through radiation and i had to quarantine myself so i did quarantine before quarantine was even a thing basically the seven days i literally was in the basement nobody could come near me because my body was emitting radiation and that could potentially harm people fast forward to august of 2018 in 2019 i was actually listening to a podcast so i was on my way to work and they had a guest and this the guest that they had was actually this naturopathic doctor who happened to be in toronto i reached out to her we set an appointment we had a consultation she asked for my blood work anyways what i'm trying to say is one thing led to another with naturopathic doctors if you don't know they are holistic doctors and what their mission is or what their goal is is not to just put a band-aid on whatever you're going through kind of like what i had to deal with so their thing is to find the root cause of this particular thing so like okay Monero, you have autoimmune disease specifically hyperthyroid let's dig deeper and figure out what is causing this disease things don't like just happen for no reason i remember even someone was saying like a lot of these like autoimmune diseases or these diseases that people are having is actually embedded in trauma sometimes your body is holding so much trauma that it manifests in this way ultimately what i'm trying to say is there's a reason as to why this particular thing is happening and of course this is obviously written and this is what god has written for us 
but we were also provided the knowledge, we were provided the resources, we were given all of that. So anyways, my neck was the size of like a tennis ball, even probably bigger, like it was large. Like my neck was large. January of 2020 when I was going to her, the size of my neck significantly reduced. All I know is that I went to her three times and over the span of the 10 years that I was just like really suffering with this thing, it took three sessions with a naturopathic doctor. She really made me feel heard. Like I was really telling her exactly what I felt and I didn't feel as though I was being dismissed. Anyways, all in all what I'm trying to say is I just thought I should share this with you guys and you know, open up a little bit in hopes that someone out there could relate and would feel less alone because I wished at the time that I would come across anything remotely close to that. I'm sure there are plenty of people that have it that are out there. It's just, it was just not accessible is what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to be that for other people that felt the same way that I did. All in all, what I'm trying to say is I just really want you guys to understand me a little bit better. Literally, whatever it is that you're going through, you are not alone. Your prayers will be answered. Please do not like feel hopeless. There's always hope. And Allah has sent a medication and a cure for literally everything in this dunya besides death. So there's hope. Do not lose hope in the power of da, in the power of prayer. Do not lose hope in the power of God's plan for you. You are literally going through this for a reason. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expiate your sins in the process. I just wish I had more tawakkul and more trust in God. Looking back now, I'm like, if I had known the future, it's always like that though. Whenever you go through something, you're like, if I had known that it was gonna turn out like this, I wouldn't have stressed that much. I wouldn't have worried as much. But yeah, you guys, I, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm truly passionate about this topic. And just keep in mind, like your body is amana like this is something that you will be questioned for on the day of judgment like if you don't take care of your body you will answer to that so this is also an act of ibadah it is something that is a right that your body has upon you to take care of it just take the necessary steps to um take care of you whether it's mentally physically or emotionally trust me you guys all of that is intertwined every one of them affects the other one it's a domino effect if you're not good here you're not going to be good here if you're not good emotionally you're not going to be good here and here like it's all connected so focus on your healing because ultimately if you're not good and you're not healed you won't be able to do anything you won't be able to enjoy the short life that we're given this was just a reminder that oh my god when you're like look where you were and look how far you've come and you could not have done this without a lot I have a little bit more faith next time again this is a reminder to myself first because i truly need that i tend to like sometimes let life get the best of me but i hope this is also a reminder for you guys as well and i hope you guys were able to benefit from this video or even learn something or even maybe spark some type of interest to want to learn more about your your health and just how things work because honestly speaking you guys it's really cool i don't know if it's the old age talking if i'm nearing because i'm nearing 30 or whatnot but trust me honestly once you understand like how things work and like what causes what like you will have a better understanding on how to take care of you may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expiate all our sins in this month of ramadan when we come out of this month feeling renewed and refreshed and just ready to take on the rest of the year may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heal those that are going through whatever you're going through whether it's mentally physically or emotionally if you've made it this far please remember to subscribe to my my channel and join the family yeah i really appreciate each and every one of you guys who take the time to watch my videos and like my videos i hope you guys are enjoying your Ramadan. yeah i'll see you guys in another video salam guys